Morgan, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And when last we left, we actually left watching that vertebrae leave. And now, with the vertebrae, the vertebrae, get my mix all tucked up here, has left. Let's zip back over to Vault 88 and mix, make that creepy overseer. I don't mean creepy because she's a ghoul. Ghouls, I can deal with in this game, you know. Don't know how well that will go over in real life, but you know. But it's the fact that she's just so in the vault tech mindset. How do you get yourself into that mindset? That's something I really do wonder. I mean, there are people in this world who do it. I mean, you know, look at the stuff that came out of MK Ultra. I mean, that was just some of the stuff in the 50s. You can justify almost any level of cruelty if you really want to. Okay, so now we don't really need the turbo suit for this, but we don't know what's next. That's the way out? That's the way out. I don't know else it's been here. How do I get back down? No, that's to the security station. This really is clunky. Now this hallway? There we go. Walk around here. I, true, it is closed up now, so I probably do have to go up through the steps. It's mostly enclosed. Yeah. Oh, woo! Nice to see those things work. So strange having people about. I have those chemical formulas for you. Marvelous. Now we can reform another societal picadillo. The hydration grade. Whether it rears its head around the coffee pot, water cooler, or soda fountain, it's a menace. vault -Tec scientists have conducted experiment after experiment to eliminate this inefficiency. But people feel an irrational need to socialize. So if they must squander their time, let us turn it into the collective good with chemistry. Aren't chemicals bad for you? Oh, Clem, you worry so much, my boy. Everything you eat and drink is made of chemicals, don't you know? Oh, right. That's very interesting, Lady Overseer. These are just special chemicals. <laughs> See, I mean, creepy. Trust us, Clem. What type of chemicals are we talking about? Well, that's up to you. But from what I've read, the R&D folks really outdid themselves. It's okay. You can trust us, Clem. Maintaining Clem's trust isn't the focus of these experiments. Our collective welfare is. So build the soda fountain. Ew. And then serve refreshments to our residents. Okay. And Clem. If you get thirsty on the job, feel free to have a cool, refreshing beverage. Thanks. Okay, well this is where the soda machines are. Special. The soda fountain prototype. I think we need to give it some room. I'm not sure exactly how far, which way that is. Supposed to be oriented. I have to keep it near power though, so. How does it look like it's connected? How's that? Still not powering anything? power in this game is completely annoying. Completely. Fine. Start in the workshop. We're going to have to put it somewhere where we know we got power. And where do we have power for sure? Ah, next to the other experiment. And 
that's not hooked in either. Oh, come on. We, this all is working. All of it. You know, I just don't have the patience. I've got like a turbo powered nuclear generator. Let's just do that. Let's just move this thing. Start the workshop. You know, I just have, if, if, if all this wiring is for naught, uh, you know what, we're going to put it right here. Sort of, hey, let's, let's put the soda fountain right next to the giant nuclear generator, that'll Connect a terminal to the soda phone and select. Okay, so now we need the terminal. So, power. Miscellaneous. Slap down a terminal. Soda phone experiment! Let's see, appetite suppressant. Let's see, notes from Dr. Brown. Dr. Brown. After the initial stockpile of food and drink are depleted, fall residents will become accustomed to anything new we give them. This gives us the intriguing possibility of adding chemical supplements to their diet, with, with them being none the wiser. After so much focus, after much focus testing, we settled on the soda fountain. The only limit here is our chemical ingenuity. Okay, generic caffeination. See, we don't want to lock anything in. R&D, I'm just about to give up on Ted. If you parse out his team's elaborate presentation, the active ingredient of supplement Z is just caffeine. Plain ordinary caffeine. And surprisingly, the test subject suffered no deleterious effects. Ted's team spent an inordinate amount of time balancing flavor and carbonation. They actually did focus testing as Nuka-Cola to enhance its appeal. I must admit, admit, it's a refreshing. God, I hate that. Okay, that's that's probably what we're going to do, because I want to do all the good guy uh, things. we got to look at what the other options are. Appetite suppressor, mood enhancer. Lead notes. Hallucigen, hallucinogen. Hallucigen? If I could read, Hallucigen provide us with a small sample of the final product, and it's quite exciting. They've made an extremely psychoactive compound that's soluble in water. It creates short-term euphoria, in some cases mild hallucinations. Surprisingly, subjects suffered no withdrawal symptoms, though a substantial predilection to depression after the crash. In a, in a first for our team, absolutely no fatalities. The worst side effect is subject 13, who has been staring at his hand for 13 hours straight. Fascinating. No, we're trying to do something about the color, the taste. Okay, that's... We can make them go weird. Appetite suppressant. We've achieved remarkable progress in syn synthesizing a Lipstatin derivative. True, the side effects are more pronounced, but the efficiency is remarkable. Test subjects under the tripilot period lost 10% body mass index. There's been an unfortunate loss of productivity among the subjects. One com one complete loss from a fatality, and two who refused to get out of bed, but the others are consuming a quarter or less of the standard ration. Oh, these don't even seem like good things. Uh, caffeinating, I think, you know, and caffeination. That's devious enough. Except parameters. Let Clem serve soda for an hour. Guess I'm open for business. Clem is open for business. Let Clem serve sodas for an hour. Well, let's see. Should we get, is there a chair here? There used to be a chair. Sit. Uh, you can't find Transform! And 
transfer will take the fusion core out so it doesn't walk away on me and sit in the chair. And there's Clem. Wait for an hour. Talk with Clem. The soda fountain's open. Want to be the first customer? Depends. How much does it cost? Oh, it's free. Really? Well, I guess then. So damn hungry. Maybe I'll get another drink. Mmm, wow. That's good stuff. Make sure to come back! Okay, so I have to talk with Clem now. Science! Hey there. You here to check up? I got a customer right here. Want some more refreshment? Mmm, what the heck's in there? I had a new Coca Cola once. Messed stuff. I know, right? It's got special chemicals in it. No shit. Well, whatever it is, call me a fan. Talk with the overseer. Ha 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 ha. Your overseer's not gonna like me. Overseer's not gonna like me. I just did something very well. Of course, you know, caffeine. Not good for you anyway. Caffeine. Well, it does improve productivity. But really, and together with the dubious success of the power cycle, I really am beginning to question your commitment to the project. How about but I just shoot you? You can still redeem yourself. Yeah. Hippocratic oath. A solemn vow to do no harm. Well, roughly, that's what it means. I don't want to get into interpreting dusty Latin textbooks, but that core sentiment of the medical community runs counter to what we're trying to accomplish here. <laughs> Doctors shouldn't put their patients' welfare first. Instead, their sole focus should be the collective good. You understand? Of course. Okay. Well, the other is right. Let's go sarcastic. Let's stop with the philosophy 101. Get to the job. Of course. So, enter the Voltec Foraptor, a specialized piece of optometrist equipment that, yes, can improve a patient's eyesight. But, potentially so much more. The prototype requires a bit, well, a lot. All right, a staggering quantity of radioactive material. But, the results will be worth it. Nuclear material, you say? <laughs> what could go wrong? I know, it's foolproof. <laughs> but, don't fret about the nuclear material. We chose this site for Vault 88 because our surveys indicate that there's a rich source of uranium deeper inside the caves. So, dig deep and get what we need. Ah, goodness, an hour. Complete the watering hole. We're starting something else up. Vision of the future! Well, we might as well find the uranium more thing, right? Quite strong. But where are we going? Now, some of this may overlap with turning on the, uh, the other workshops. Huh. You can go beat some stuff down there. I've military grade dust. It's so violent. People say Curie is kind of a mediocre character, but you armor up right. Hell yeah. 
Vault Tech Control Board, East Sector. Okay, so that's icy. That must make it so that now... Uh, do you think that would be how we... Uh, is this uh... Did you hear something? Yeah, I did. Hostility is resuming. Rad Scorpion, huh? Am I supposed to mine something here? Odds of your success are virtually nil. Luckily it was just an average rad scorpion. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, you know what? Maybe. This is just a thought. Perhaps, and maybe, I have to get the uh, that control board back to the uh, the workshop. Install it and then I can mine. It's a guess. Should be in misc. Quest items can't be re okay. So that didn't work. Well, you know, here's an interesting side note. They want me to mine a bunch of, you know, uranium ore. And I should probably do it that way simply because, you know, I, I, mean, I could probably get away with just, you know. Using a whole bunch of nuclear material. I'm going to be burning up my own nuclear material. We went through there. Can't seem to. I mean, you'd think it'd be in here. This would be the thing. Maybe I have to unlock all of those quest items first. You gotta be kidding. Oh, this is different. Oh, there we go. Hey, something cool. Now, you think it's a coincidence that we're getting a whole bunch of nuclear material here? East Sector, okay. Activate. Holy crap. And that's why I like this gun. Okay, we can we can do more stuff down here. But I think in the short term Oh we're overloaded again. Okay, we'll work here. Limestone wall, scrap. Uranium! Uranium. Okay, so now the interesting thing about this is basically this is how you're going to get around having to burn up a whole lot of your own Do you like this? Do you want 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 that?
find myself a wall. I'm gonna get a bunch of concrete out of that. Holy crap. Now, look, as someone who builds, and you know, this is really kind of good for, you know, someone who is playing as, you know, I mean, I, I'm a settlement guy. You need nuclear material for stuff, and this is a lot of it. Well, you don't have to do everything now, but I mean... Oh, no. Okay, we're gonna be like that? We're gonna... Hold on. No, I don't want that button. Yeah, I'm carrying too much and can't run because I'm, I'm mining. Ah! Legendary to skull rat for a few. He's wounded. That's a good guess. Yeah. and vitrocytes are still within acceptable parameters. Red powered synth chest piece. All right, stronger, more red you get. That's a collectible. And scrap it for nuclear material. Now here's a philosophical question for you. If you were gonna build a vault, would you want one that was near a source of a lot of nuclear? This is a lot of stuff. This is, I would go so far as to say, completely ridiculous. We're getting so much concrete. And more problems. And so, and nuclear material, that's not easy to get. Easy in combat operations. This is the most nuclear material I've seen without we don't know what it's going to require. Okay, so there's no more limestone. Looks like now he's got to get back to... Steadfast Gamma Gun. 50% damage resistance while aiming. Well, that's nice. That's a keeper. More nuclear material. One gets the impression that you can mine through all of this. This is, is this the way back? No, it's not. Too much and can't run. But look at all this nuclear material. Ten. Six. I mean, this is this is just silly. What was this place? The mine. I mean, we're, we're mining uranium. It's one of the densest things there is. So that would make sense. Yeah, we're completely tapped out as far as AP is concerned.
might as well just speed all this up. This is just a lot of mining. Okay, this is... There might be more. But I think we got enough for right now. How much are we actually carrying? Nuclear material, why only two? Let me go with, uh, is it a mi miscellaneous uranium? No, well, why wouldn't, uh, hello? Nuclear material two. There should have been a lot more than that. Totally confused. I got 419. Beaker stand can combo wrenches. I have to let my AP come back a little bit here anyway. Nuclear material. Where is all the weight? I just don't know where all the weight went. Okay, we're just gonna have to... Let's get back to the workshop. Transfer, store all junk. Combat rifle, hiling on to the special stuff. And this is all fine. Some good things out of this from a collectability point of view. My aid, new call quantum, we'll hang on to Queen Myler, meet nothing heavy there. My miscellaneous, where's all the weight? I don't know. I don't know why this is listing me as being completely loaded up. There's got to be a glitch involved. And we got lost again. I'm always getting lost in the... Okay, what are we building? Oh, the little optical station thing. Well, it's probably going to need power too. We might as well throw it down here. Photoraptor prototype requires power, so we may as well, you know, and a lot of nuclear power, apparently. Photoraptor experiment. Okay, subliminal messages. Our need to lead notes. 
repeatedly in a loop of a statistically significant positive effect on tap subjects view of the vault, vault tech, and the overseer specifically. We never quite perfected an eye drop formula that was both effective and didn't cause long lasting eye trauma, but we're still working on that. Lab has further advantages of electroshocks and physics of electroshocks and physical strength, so if your mileage may vary in the field trials. Okay. So they're saying they're cheating that. So that's one of the bad ones. Vault monitoring. This one, Team Walrus, don't ask, is very proud of. Dr. Braun, a, a small MRI specifically designed to fit in the photoraptor, was fed enough power and then you can process the visual information response from stimuli. In layman's terms, it can read a test subject's mind and show an actual picture of what they're thinking about. That's the promise, at least, but the images are very grainy and indistinct. Starting from the standard Rorschach test with hundreds of volunteers, our computers could reliably identify these images with 71% accuracy. It's still early days, but the promise of getting involuntary glimpses into a population's mind could be a game changer for vault management. Yeah, and what's the last one? Uh, what's the thing? Oh, with notes from Dr. Brown. The challenge I put before you is to find a way to turn a simple eye exam to something that furthers vault ambitions. The Photoraptor is an excellent delivery mechanism because it's infrequent enough and arcane enough that if anyone thinks slightly irregular, there is no one would know. Yeah. The team made a better tool for optometrists everywhere. That's it, nothing else. Please process my request to reassign the whole team somewhere far away and cold. Do it! Talk with the overseer and Clem. Excuse me. I'm looking forward to checking on Clem and the optometrist station. Okay, where is Clem? Clem! Oh, Clem! Shouldn't you be selling soda? Where did I leave you last? Well, you know what? Let's... Let's get out of the, the big burly suit. Why did I put the suit back on you? Oh. Just the logic of going after uranium. That was it. What's my weight level now? 265. See, I was carrying... All that uranium was dedicated. Use? I can use it? Perception boost added. Yeah, <laughs> you sit in it, it ups your perception. Nice. If you're just going to spin your legs for an hour, the power cycle is pretty fun. I just want to trade a few things. Some people complain, but not me. Just happy to be here. Hey there. Looks like we have our first... patient. Yes. Before we begin, Clem, uh, how do you feel about children? Uh... they're... All right, I guess. You ever planning on having any? <laughs> I, I don't know. Why are you asking? Just idle chatter. Go on. Can he not get to it? I do just stay still so I just see yeah yeah the machine will do the rest this thing's 
creeping me out. All done. It says you got, uh, a minor eye infection. Some eye drops will clear it up. Uh, thanks. And that's it. Nothing else. No. Lady Overseer, exam's all done. Hey there. I never had an eye exam before. It wasn't so bad, I guess. Why are you doing this stuff anyhow? Okay, we got we got it. We gotta see what goes on here. Should we go sarcastic? You kidding? Building a vault, experimental prototypes, and guinea pigs, no offense. Who wouldn't do it? <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying, but you're funny. I figured coming down here was too good to be true. But I might have misjudged you. I might tell my friends it's a good thing down here. Thanks. I guess. Now, hopefully that means that we'll start getting more people in. So one of our residents is happy. That's completely irrelevant. We should be making hard choices to improve the effectiveness of the vault. Instead, you spend your time <laughs> pandering to their every whim. You're a you know you're a psychopath, right? If you mean I've cultivated a proper vault tech clinical detachment, I know. But name calling is counterproductive. This last experiment is my pride and joy. Following in the footsteps of Dr. Braun and the others, I have spent my time devising my very own prototype. Its premise is this. We are all flawed creatures. Each with our own vices. What if our vault didn't pointlessly try to stamp out these predilections and instead harness them? What vices are you talking about? Well, greed. The schematic is for a slot machine. I designed it to be as <laughs> enticing as possible. Choose the experimental parameters, and let's see how it fares in the field. All right. So we we finished one. Uh, that's got to finish one mission, and then we're gonna load up another. Completed vision of the future. Vision of the future. And we're starting up Lady Luck, build and power the slot machine. And this is probably going to be the end of the live commentary because I'm looking over at my video camera and I got a red light on where the battery is. The battery is all red with a little one bar on it. So don't worry, there'll be some voiceover after this, but we're going to have to wait a little while till after. And that's about where the camera cut out, of course. That's where the battery died. So. What I'm thinking, now follow me here, just you know, bear with me. What I'm thinking is this has been a pretty long video up to this point. It's been, you know, pretty long. So what we could do is then break this next part off that doesn't have any voiceover and then uh, we'll make that its own video. And we'll put this one up and this this will be the end of that for now. And then we'll come back to this. We'll come back. Don't worry. Soon. Very soon we'll, we'll be back and we'll, we'll, we'll cover all this other material. But on this note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.